good 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 morning welcome to a new vlog it's actually the same day as yesterday but it's it's a it's a new day it's a new vlog right so dan's gone down to empty the toilet and we've been discussing our dinner tonight we opted for cheese on crackers but now i'm thinking oh, if i be quite honest i don't fancy anything today and if I do, I just want it to... I, I, I don't know. I just don't fancy cheese and crackers now. Um, Dad, he's, he's opted in to go with me, but he still wanted quiche and stuff. He kept saying he wanted something healthy today. So I'm going to totally change up dinner today. I'm going to do a healthy option dinner today. Gosh, I've had the heating on all day. I've, I've, oh, I thought I'd turn that off. <laughs> no, I need to turn that off now. And I'm going to leave the door open because it's actually getting a bit <laughs> too toasty. Right, so Dan, I think, is going to go off doing his trail cam dance stuff. Having a ponder on a rock. A rock? On a log. <laughs> <coughs> having a ponder on a log with a beer. So that's going to give me time to prepare dinner and stuff. Talking of logs, what was that? Fidge O'Neill did the other day. A log in a bog. Oh, that was gross. Oh, he's back now. Are you back? Yeah. You're going for a ponder then, darling? A ponder? <laughs> I certainly am. I think what I'm going to do is, like, film my first uh, video for my new channel. <gasps> really? Introduce myself to the new audience. Oh, you didn't tell me that. He hasn't even got no subscribers yet, and I can't find the channel. I want to be the first I'm subscriber. I'm not the channel. <laughs> um, yeah, I might be gone a while. You don't mind, do you? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. I, I really want to get a a good, energetic first video made, yeah. an introduction to everybody. Let me know when you're coming home, so I'm oh, prepared. Oh, about eight. What time is it? <laughs> Two. <laughs> no, come back, come back. Uh, so we decide we're not going to have cheese and crackers now, are we? Well, I fancy something warm. Now, you sell me healthy. Healthy? Yeah. And warm. Yeah. So, should I just come up with some kind of concoction? What? <laughs> no. Is it going to be warm? Yeah. Am I going to like it? Yeah. But, uh, no, do you trust me to just come up with dinner today? Yeah. Or do you want to put in? I don't know. <laughs> well, I've told you kind of things I fancy. But I, I'll leave it to, I really fancy quiche and jacket taters. But so you're going to leave it to me then. He's yeah. going to leave it to me. Right? Mm. You go and pull some bacon for a little and while. sausage maybe and some eggs. That ain't happening. You don't forget the black pudding and the that, beans. No, that ain't happening. And bread. So you're ready, packed, ready to go for your first vlog. I feel like I'm, it's my first day at school, Mazzy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just need a sandwich and a flask put in there. <laughs> we got one. <laughs> well, hold on, right? When you went off the other day, you said to me, "Oh, I'm just, oh, I'm just gonna take one beer. I'm gonna sit." And then when I watched the video, you had two beers. Yeah, I took two beers. Yeah. Now, how many you got in that bag? Three beers. I bet that's four, isn't it? No, there's three. <laughs> it's three at the moment, but now you mentioned four, and you're laughing about it. I might take another one. So you're gonna bring your big camera as well, just in case. Yeah. You know, it's the big introduction to my new channel, so... Well, good luck, babe. I might get some footage, you never know. Yeah, good luck. Hope Thank it goes much. well. I'll see you when I see you, yeah? Yeah, I love you. I love you. Turn it off. Right, so in the meantime, I'm going to prepare tea, dinner, or lunch, whatever you want to call it. Well, it definitely ain't lunch. Right, let me find my knife. So what I'm going to do, because we actually both really enjoyed this the other day, is make a tray full of um, veg melody again. That was so nice. Um, the only problem is, I probably made too much though, made too much. So I'm going to cut down on portions today. Veg melody with the onions and peppers and stuff in there, roasted off. That was so tasty. Going to roast off some baby potatoes. And these are diddy little ones. Actually, they need to go on quick. First. Let me bring you down so you can see. Right, there you go. So it looks like a lot, but we always nibble on these. Oh, <laughs> take the lid off. <laughs> 
yeah, we'll always nibble on these during the night or we eat them the next day. Bit of olive oil, bit of salt, cracked pepper. So these need to get on fast, really, because, um, and just mix herbs. You can put any herbs on, really. Or you don't even have to have herbs, right? So I need to get those on quickly because they're going to take the longest. And the next is going to be one pepper. Actually, did it? no, I did two on the last batch, didn't I? I'm sure I did two. I did one red and one green. Yeah, just one today. Be more than enough. Right, just chopping my peeled, <laughs> my peeled mushrooms. I will be honest, I was very surprised how many people actually still peel theirs. I thought I was the only one, but... And I was told off as well, almost told off. Don't throw the stalks away, they're good. Now I do, we do generally keep the stalks if they're good stalks, but they weren't particularly on those uh, mushrooms. Um, back in them days when I was 19 and that, you know, money was tight and I thought a stalk on a mushroom was disgusting. You know, yeah, I did use to peel them off in the supermarket. From, but now, no, I understand. You can actually eat them. I didn't realise you could at them times. So, yeah, if it's a proper stalk, then I will keep them. So I'm going to keep those ones today. Right, so I'm not doing a lot. Like I said, I'm just going to do a fair portion for us both because the other day... <laughs> Now this is a funny story, right? I'm just gonna, I'm just going. To, well, I say funny story. It's not really. While I'm just peeling my, uh, chopping my onion, roughly chop. I'm gonna still do one full onion. Now the other day when I vlogged um, at dinner, when we had the uh, vegetable melody done in the oven, oh, it was lovely. <sighs> but practically the whole lot landed on the floor. <laughs> so. We had to try and rescue. Yes, it sounds gross. And no, we had no floor candy. <laughs> but yeah, we did try and then rescue to what wasn't touching the floor and stuff like that. Because it was our tea. So when I was vlogging the dinner and I was like, there's Dad, he doesn't want a lot of veg, which he doesn't anyway. But I, I couldn't stop laughing. I had to film that clip actually about four times that day because I just couldn't stop laughing. I was trying to say Dan didn't want a lot of veg because half of it, it all practically fell on the floor. I tell you what happened. I'd gone down to this drawer down here. I can't remember what I was looking for. Oh, kitchen towel. And the the silver tray was here with all the veg in, and my elbow had caught it. Literally, the whole lot just turned. So yeah, we did have floor candy, but not really floor candy. <laughs> You know what I mean. Right, so that, that's still quite a lot of veg, really. But you've got to remember, it shrinks up to nothing. Now, I did buy asparagus yesterday from Tesco. Uh, these are massive. Personally, I prefer the smaller ones. <sighs> See, do I do the full lot? If I do the full lot, I've got none for a barbecue this week. No, I'm going to keep four for a barbecue. So, yeah, keep four for a barbecue and do four snap that so they're quite big and i'll tell you why i don't really like big asparagus because they're not as sweet as the smaller ones um still nice i i absolutely love asparagus so we'll do four of those get them in there as well should i chop no you can't chop asparagus can you <laughs> right just bringing you back down again go uh, let me just find my tongs. Now, is this all I had the other day? Could have sworn I had a bit more different fetch than this. Uh, need to break this um, onion up a bit. It's all kind of stuck together. 
Right, so let, yeah, I'll keep this. Did I put green? Yeah, I put green beans in this. Let me find some green beans. There we go. And a handful of chopped green beans as well. So although it still looks like a lot of veg, it does, it does, I want to say melt. It's not melt. So olive oil, yeah, it melts down to nothing. Olive oil. Cracked pepper. Pit of salt. Ooh. <laughs> and just a little bit of mixed herbs. Right, so, so far we have little baby potatoes in the oven roasting off. Veg Melody is going to be roasted off. Dan really fancied the quiche, so I'm going to heat that up in the oven. It's caramelised onion and cheddar. With, now I know this sounds strange, some cauliflower cheese. We both absolutely love cauliflower tree, cheese. Don't get me wrong, homemade is always, always the best. And I love making homemade cauliflower cheese, but it's just convenience, isn't it? So that's going to be our tea tonight. With a couple of partially baked rolls. These are amazing to have in the van. They really are. You can get all different sizes and all different sorts. Right, so there's nothing more I can do now for prep. So I'm just going to go and chill outside. A little bit of peace and quiet and ponder. Just got me little spuds out the oven. They're actually really soft. They're cooking really, really fast, which is scaring me now because the veg actually takes quite some time. So I put them there for a minute and cook those maybe for a little while. Let's just get those back in the oven. Ooh, I tell you what, I need Dan to, this oven door doesn't open properly not oil there's something like wrong with the hinge or something I'm sure oil will help yeah let's get them back in the oven because they're nearly done right anyway I'm actually waiting from at uh, for an animal uh, I can't talk I'm waiting from no I'm waiting for an Amazon order Clothes. I'm waiting for a top, only a top. I'll tell you what, I really enjoy actually ordering clothes. Oh, there goes the door. I'm, I'm really nervous here. I'm like really on edge because Dan ain't here and I'm here on my own. Right, anyway, let me try and talk. So I'm waiting for an Amazon order today just for a top. And I'm really enjoying their clothes. I'm quite surprised actually to how good they are. So I have actually replaced my pants, my trousers. There they are, they're the white ones. And they are actually the brand of Roxy, if anyone is interested. They are actually so comfortable in that. And you've got the like the tie bit around the waist, so that's really good. Right, let's just wait for this vegetable melody to get cooking. I bet this is gonna be cooked before Dan gets home, in it. <laughs> Just trying to wash up a little bit and I just got a text from Dad saying, oh, it's going to be another hour yet. He was like, I hope you don't mind. It's like, of course not. I'm actually so proud of him. I really am. And every time I try and be sentimental with him, he doesn't listen. But I have to say, babe, I'm actually really proud of him. And he's doing something he really loves and enjoys. When we got the travel trolls, with with the travel trolls, and then when we got the Mazzy channel, and then now his trail come down, we can be ourselves or do what we have passion for. You know, I I, I love vlogging, and Dan loves trail camming. So no, of course not. I'm really proud of you, babe. I have to say it on it because he won't listen to me otherwise. <laughs> So dinner's coming along nicely anyway, and a matter of fact, it's probably going to be cooked too, well, obviously it's going to be cooked too soon now, so I've turned turn the heat right down. Um, smelling good, looking good, and it's such an easy dinner, no mess today. Literally, all oven, might even do paper plates. And that's tonight's dinner. 
veg melody, baby potatoes, cauliflower cheese, and a bit of quiche. Next day. Good morning. It's blooming freezing. <laughs> it's freezing. It's like November. Hating it. Absolutely hating it. Mm. Um, so many plans, so many things to do. First of June tomorrow. I know. So, you know, ice lollies and ice creams and sunbathing. It's freezing. It's been raining as well. <laughs> Right. Um, Have you took your tablets to sleep? I don't need any. <laughs> I don't need any. <laughs> so, yeah, I went out trail camming yesterday. Mazzy showed you her cooking my beautiful tea. Thank you very much. That was lush, wasn't it? It that was very was nice. So nice. Very nice. Right. You actually got a. A, a package, not a, a parcel, parcel, a package. A package. Yeah, I just want to quickly, though, I did mention my Amazon one that. I can say it this morning, the Amazon one that I was waiting for, it's just like a little flowy top. Just a little bit concerned if it's not going to fit very well, but... It's a rag. It's not. Just for wiping your hands on. So I'm well that ain't a top. That's arrived. But in the meantime, you came over with this one as well, which I wasn't expecting. From John Player Special. <laughs> yeah. We don't know what it is. I have no idea what JP could be buying me, so I'm a little bit nervous. I was too tired last night, when I? Alright, should I give it a go? Yeah, it up. Come so, on. This ain't just from JP, it's from Sammy as well. Okay, crack on. <laughs> oh, it better not be a do pineapple. Do you know what it is? I have no idea. This is brilliant, JP! <laughs> You know my blue knife, I absolutely love it. And you know when you love a particular knife, that yeah. obviously mine's gone manky, but I still love it. He's mm. got me a pink one. Oh, my <laughs> God. I didn't even know that existed. That's pretty much the same, isn't it? Yeah. So that's going to be... I'm going to use the life out of that one. Oh, my God. Pet paring knife. Pet paring knife. Yeah. Thank you, JP. Thank you very much. Actually, is that red? Maybe my eyes are seeing It's pink. It's pink. It looks pink, but now it's next to my red top. It's pink. That's brilliant. I think that's a brand. Is that a brand? No idea. I wouldn't know. Thank you, JP and Sammy. Much appreciated. Are you trying to tell me now I've got to get rid of the blue one? I can't I'll do have blue. that. I'll have blue one. Why? Well, I what? do need a knife for my trail coming. Do you? like a survival knife but for trail camming because I, I do struggle to get the batteries out of the back of the trail cam so i was thinking oh. i need to take something in I the wood i don't know if I... I can let go of that one yet we'll have to see and we also got another present from his neighbours oh, next door oh i love door. my neighbours yeah they've just been on holiday to uh cornwall yeah my favorite place <laughs> and they've got us some biscuits my worst place <laughs> yeah she doesn't like cornwall but i adore the place uh, uh, and this is from Padstow. This is where, uh, what's it called? Who? Who's, who's got a restaurant in Padstow? Uh, the fish guy. Yeah, the, the fish guy. guy. Um, is it Keith? No, not Keith. I can't remember, but your mum met Lloyd. Him. It's not Lloyd, is it? Lloyd. Is it Keith Floyd? Keith Lloyd, Lloyd Floyd? Floyd? Was guy? it Keith Floyd? I don't know. I can't remember. But Someone I, tell us in the comments. I think your mum had met him. And I absolutely love shortbread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I love Padstow, so we're both going to have fun oh, there. you can definitely tell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven. Eleven. Oh, eleven. You can tell the quality of a shortbread, like, just by the colour and stuff. So that's going to be really battery and well lush. So you do no good for my waistline now, is it? <laughs> well, there is eleven. We can't split them up equally. Well, well, well you say that. So, this one's already snapped. Yeah. Uh -huh. You were going to come up with an idea then, weren't but you? But we need to split them up, so let's go, I don't know, three for you, eight for me. That's fair. Whatever. You can hold it for now. <laughs> as soon as I've turned camera off, I'll be getting them, don't worry. Uh, right, yeah, it's freezing today. Really cold. I'd, I've had to go in my suitcase and get a a jumper out because I've no jumpers. I thought summer was here for good now. Um so yeah we're just trying to get through the day really. 
Got so much to do, but it's too cold to work outside. Don't you think? Can I just mention, right, so I had a shower this morning, right? Mm. So if I look a little bit different, I, I do look different, don't I? I put a load of purple shampoo on my hair, maybe for a little bit too longer than maybe I should have done, but I didn't know purple shampoo can make you look purple and silver and grey. So now I've ended up looking grey, silver, but it's got rid of the yellow, except for the odd patch. I think you look lovely, love. Oh, thanks, Pat. Can we stop talking about hair now? All what I've heard all day is hair. Well, it's better than um, trail cams and blackbirds and magpies, whatever they're called. Sick of hearing about them and all. Tough. Yeah, man, them. Mazzy won't make me anything to eat, <laughs> so I'm going to have to get someone else to do it for me. I've just tied it. <laughs> Let's go down and see Mark. We have never eaten in this cafe yet with Mark. No, let's go to his cafe. Um, first time for everything? Should we shut his windows? No, it's fine. No, I think we should shut his windows. So, as camera went funny again, we missed... I don't know, it didn't record sound. So we went down to the cafe and Mark only opens 9 till 11 now. I thought it was 9 till 12, but we're 9 till 11. So I didn't get my breakfast. We'll probably go back tomorrow or the day after. Uh, we do need to get down there so for now um back to the van and try and talk mazzy into making me something are they the good birds or bad birds oh, though this is here take that i'll shut the gate starlings oh literally just come back there are a magpie here a starling now these style i like all birds i do like birds but starlings we've never had until we've got back off as holiday and they just come and fill the beaks they're a bit like vultures just like the rooks there's two types of birds ones which are polite come for a meal sit down you know have one piece of pellet and then fly off maybe have two pieces we don't mind that but when you just take 20 pieces and fly off with all your 50 mates it's oh. out of order why have you locked the door? <laughs> what do you mean, why have I locked the door? I've got two minutes. Right. In there somewhere. You're a numpty, ain't ya? Well, I didn't open it, did I? <laughs> In there somewhere, Mazza, is bacon and mushrooms and fried bread. I'm not And beans. Right. If I'm just not doing it. I'm on holiday. Right, Mazza doesn't want to make me a fry up. She says she'll make me one later for my main meal, but she ain't going to make me something now and then something then, which is very similar, because, you know, it makes the frying pan and everything mucky. But she did mention it. I said, well, what, how about a toasty? So I might be able to swing a cheese and ham toasty out of her. In the meantime, got these left from that. Look at size of them. I've got thumbnails bigger than these potatoes. That's ridiculous. We've got pickled onions bigger than that. So I'm going to nibble on them. I'm going to try and get a cheese and ham toasty out of her. And she's been mentioning these. I'll tell you what, we got these yesterday. It says 2nd of June, which is another three days away. And look at the state of them. They're already going, they're turning. Some of them are all right. But them, I had to actually lift the crate off the top to get to these, which were 2nd of June. The ones on top were 31st of May, which is today's date, and they were in a terrible state. Have you noticed anything in the vegetable section and salad this year has been terrible? I know they've put the prices up, I know they've said there's been a shortage, but come on, if you're going to sell it, make it quality. The quality has just disappeared. You cannot get any good lettuce, vegetables, or salad at this time. It's, it's disgusting. You know, this is stuff you grow out of ground. Why should Russia invading the Ukraine affect my mushrooms? What? Well, we've been talking. Yeah. 
me and viewers and that yeah. and we've all agreed we'll have a cheese and ham toaster okay yeah that's all right yeah with bacon and mm. sausages and then mushrooms what need eating and some fried bread all right just a cheese and ham toasty then yes please so you're having a toasty and you're eating the rest of our dinner tonight you said i'm having a fry up tonight no they were said what did I just tell you? She said I can have a fry up tonight, but I can't have a fry up now because it's the same meal. You can't change your mind, it's on camera. Oh, damn. I'm cooking. What are you cooking now? Have you decided to do a fry up? Oh, we'll just, just it's going to be a tough. It'll do for now. It'll do for now. We've used some special cheese I got. What flavour is that cheese? Can you yeah, remember? I'm going to show you actually. I had some last night, it's nice. Personally, I don't think I'd like oh, it. Oh, you would. <laughs> Mature cheddar with oak smoked tomato and herbs. It's very smoky, you can taste the smokiness. Has it actually melted because it, the outside cooked quicker than the inside? Mm, yeah, it's melted a bit, yeah. Very nice, thank you very much. You're welcome. Right, so we've actually decided on dinner today. Roast chicken. This has been in maybe 40, 50 minutes. Look at it. <laughs> it's meant to be a chicken in a bag. I've never had these bags melt like that before. So I'm going to hopefully try and rescue this. Get it out the bag and then just roast it on the tray. So I do have my dressing gown on because it is absolutely freezing today. Got the heating on though. This chicken is massive. Did say large, but this is large. So I think what we're gonna have with this is, I did say to Dan, would you like chips and egg with it? And he was like, egg don't go with chicken. So I'm gonna have chips and he wants pickle. Right, let's get this roasting properly. Actually, I can now probably put my own herbs and spices on this now, can't I? Yeah, let's do that. A little sprinkling of oil, because obviously it has to stick to it. Just a little bit. <laughs> Cracked pepper. Tiny bit of salt to get that crisp, uh, skin crispy. Now I'm going to do rosemary and oregano because I love these two herbs mixed together, especially on roast potatoes. So let's just go with that. Oh, that's a little bit much. Oh, that's even more. <laughs> right, let's go put this back in the oven. <laughs> Dan struggling. What? <laughs> I'm putting this away, Mazzy. Brilliant bike. An amazing outdoor electric bike. It's fantastic. It's as good as all the others I've been reviewing. But it does other things. It does indoor things. It's an indoor exercise bike. It will charge up whilst you're doing exercises indoor with your iPad or your phone here and they give you fitness regimes to do and you can dance away to it. It does so many things, but there's a fault with this bike. It doesn't attach to Bluetooth. So you're struggling with it, aren't you? You're struggling how to work it and stuff. It didn't even come with instructions. I've been working with the company. I've been trying my best and they've been, we've been, I've been patient. They've been very good. They've been very good and they've been apologizing yeah. And they asked me to do tests, I had to download something, try it, send them screenshots and they came back this morning and said the Bluetooth is not working on the bike. So, 
yes you can probably still use it as an indoor bike to charge it up um, you can certainly use it it's, it's basically a very good outdoor mountain bike yeah and that's it you got to always remember this is only a prototype so I'm sure the final product when they really it's going to be incredible and it is yeah. incredible once they get it on the assembly line so to say this will be incredible so there are little snags with this isn't there and it's just it's delaying you and you don't understand the bike because yeah. I've got so many other product <laughs> reviews to do and I can't do them until this thing is out of this awning yeah so as as wonderful as it is I'm going to go put this away now and it will be what? it will be a wonderful bike once it's on the assembly line it still is yeah it's a cracking outdoor electric bike um but I've just basically said to the company, they said what they can do is send me videos of how it works indoors with the fitness and all that lot and I could do a voiceover and I says alright that might work but then I've changed my mind now and I've said no that won't work because I don't know yeah it's alright you send me videos but if I can't use it I don't know what I'm talking about so no you're gonna have to provide me with the entire indoor section with voiceover and I'll put it on the end of the outdoor review otherwise I can't review it so it's up to them in it but as the bike stands you can literally use it as the exercise bike and the outdoor you all you're not getting is the screen aren't you Aaron? I'm guessing so or do you have to put it into indoor bike mode, mode. for oh. it to charge it up I don't know yeah and the biggest problem i've got at the moment is i've put it on this stand and i can't get the damn thing off <laughs> well you didn't get no instructions to i can't do remember it. how i tightened this on mazzy oh dear i don't know i've had to put up with this all afternoon the circling where are you they're literally circling I chase them off, they go up there, they go around there and then they come back to see if I'm still here and then they land again, steal it all and then go I'm sick of starlings, I don't like starlings now I remember four days ago I saw the first starling over there I was really excited, I said ooh we've got a starling never had a starling before and now we've got about eight starlings and they're just raping the entire bird table I've got nothing left who is the food actually for? Because every bird aren't even allowed on there anymore. It's for proper birds. Goldfinches, greenfinches, robins, lovely birds. Not for scummy starlings, crows, gulls, pigeons, rooks. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to bleep that one out. <coughs> You literally are stressing yourself out, darling. I am. I'm going to have an heart attack from feeding birds. I was doing this as a hobby. I loved it. It was so nice seeing twinkly little birds. And it's got to the point now, I can't do it anymore. It's too stressful feeding birds. Stick to trail camming, darling. Right, I couldn't care. He's telling me not to film, but this man is going to give himself a heart attack. What are you doing now? Don't talk to me. I'm getting I can't get this in ground, it's too hard, it's like clay down this side. I need one in here. I need a drill. They're, they're just circling. Honey, you need to come. You wanna heard him a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, but you're not seeing my point. I've been trying to tell her, right? If your neighbour invites you around for a burger. You go around and have a burger, don't you? You might even have two if you're a bit greedy. You don't have ten. <laughs> they're coming, they're having ten. Look! <laughs> That's enough. Three of them if you want three. But after that, you're just taking Mickey, aren't you? And they're literally just taking like 15 <sighs> of them and then going away and coming back for more. No, I'm not having it anymore. I'm staying here. Where's my ghillie suit? I'm going to stand here. I'll just stand here like this and I'll go. Yeah, you need to flap. Calm down, honey. He doesn't re remember. He's nearly actually 50. Not 27. He's nearly 50. It's 
It's nothing to do with age. <laughs> I sit there and I watch them take 20 pence out of my pocket every time they come. Oh, you tight Yorkshire man, you. I've told you they can have three or four pieces, but they're not taking 20 pence worth every time they come with the mates. My hand is twitching. Forget him. What do you mean the money we're going to save? There he goes. <laughs> yeah, you look like an Egypt. Mammy. So, what are you going to do? Just stand there like a plum? I'm waiting for them. They're not going to come while you're there, are they? I'm going to give them the scare of their life. They're never going to come back once they've come back this Go, time. Show me the scare. Show me the scare. You'll see it when they come back. No, show me, because I probably won't capture it. Just get that Barbie on, because we're having styling tonight. Honey, you can stop now. You're embarrassing. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm doing it for the camera. <laughs> he actually isn't. Oh, my heavens. Right, let's go in and check dinner. Are you right there, babe? Are you right? Are you right? Shh. Right, just chicken dinner. Oh, my heavens. This chicken is done. More than done. Got chips on the go. Dan wants um, pickle with his, like Branson pickle. And I actually fancy gravy, so I'm gonna have gravy. Oh, no, I can't lift that up. <laughs> That's hot. Let me take it down. So this is our tonight's dinner. Yeah, that's definitely done. Do like it crispy. Hey, been using JP's knife all day today. Brilliant, I love it, I love it. See, no blue, oh. Oh, well, there we go. No blue knife in sight. And extra, I was going to use these just to get them out of the freezer, actually. Just little, I ought to buy the cheapy, cheap of cheap Yorkshire puddings. Don't get me wrong, I know the expensive ones are nice, but let's be real, there's no major difference, really. So the oven's off, and this is what I always do with my Yorkshires. Literally, don't bake them for the five minutes or whatever they recommend. Just put them into a hot oven and shut the door. Oh no, that ain't off. There we go, that's off now. Right, I have to just get away from dinner for a minute. I just looked out the door, for it, half expect. He's still there. I don't know if you can see him, he's still there. Honey, honey. Calm down. You ain't standing there all day, surely. Will you shut up? Oh, man. It's never going to work if you keep coming up to me. Oh, God's sake. He literally doesn't recall that he's nearly 50. He acts like a child. <laughs> he's like living with a child. Right, so I want gravy with mine. And the only gravy I really, really love is this one. Yeah, okay, I need pay over the odds for it, but it is the best. I just got one. The styling landed there, I was stood there, I didn't know out there. Went rah, he won't be back. He'll probably drop dead on way back to the <laughs> With a heart attack. <laughs> and the green finch went down there, and I just left him alone. It was so cute, I saw the green finch right, right next to me because he didn't know I was there. Honestly, you can't tell me. Yeah, but surely the scarecrow should be doing their job, no? No. Cute, oh, I think it's the Mazzy one they find cute. It's been an image of me, isn't it? Right, sorry about the noise in the background. I've got the kettle on for the gravy. Um, just about to uh, slice the chicken up. Uh, I need a plate for this, actually, don't I? Let's just go with it for now. Yeah, let me just grab a plate. Dan's out there all in disguise. He, he lit, I, I, I promise you, look. Let me just show y'all. <laughs> he is standing there with his beer. Look, I ain't lying. He's waiting for him. <laughs> oh, heavens. Right, let's... Slice this chicken up. Oh, that's proper tender. 
Yeah, this is going to be proper nice. Who likes the skin on chicken? There's a lot of people I know that don't like skin on chicken. We personally do. Look how wet and juicy that is. That's well tender. Look at that one for a slice. Skin still on. That's Dan's. I swear to God, I don't know where he is. Is he still out there? You're still there? No, you're joking. Look at all that, look. I've got loads out of that. That large is large. I've also cut the two drumsticks off as well for later on if we want to pick at those. And grub is up. This is turning into a strange dinner. Dan's got baguette, salt and pepper baguette, chips, chicken, Yorkshire puds, and um, oh, what's that called again? Pickle. And now you want gravy. Yeah. I think you need it because this is going to be a really dry dinner. Oh, I just put it on your rolls. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Right, I've got chicken chips and a few um, Yorkshires. Are you hungry or starving? Yeah. 